Sunday. It's Sunday. Hello. There we go. I'm not awake, folks. Rocket ships. Rocket ships will be the death of me. My goodness. You know how I said at the end of yesterday's stream? Probably wasn't going to do any more Blackcraft on stream. Because it's a really... It takes a long time. Oh, my voice is rough this morning. Um, that's, that's, that's an understatement. I was launching rockets till 2.30 in the morning. Uh, and I'm still not finished. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, good morning, good morning. Happiest of Sundays. How is everybody today? Um, I am over here at the, the rocket factory just collecting some more satellite thingies we're still searching for planets um i've got a couple of spots left up the back that i need to fill in um but we've we've unlocked all of the planets we can travel to we're still working through the rocket ships um i'm not even gonna worry about that countdown because y'all can't see what i'm talking about so we're up to a tier seven T7 rocket. We're up to the T7 rocket. Um, but still a ways to go. Um, so I've still got three planets that I need to go and uh, go and play on. Um, man, it's a process. It is a process. I did have the same bug that. Uh, Protox and JC had with the the research paper for Saturn not happening. Um, it is a bug. Uh, I can confirm the um, the research pattern for Saturn is pattern seventeen. The quest is looking for pattern sixteen. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep keep searching planets at the moment. We're searching Kepler sixty two B, which is I think it's one of oops. It's one of the, it's on one of these ones, or it might be over here still. Um, have we got all the rest? Yeah, I think I've done all the ones on there. Uh, there might be one more there actually. Done one on Whirlpool, and one on whatever that is, Black Eye. So we're getting close to having found all the planets, I think. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Uh, but yeah, getting there, it's just a process. At the moment, I'm, like I said, waiting for the research to happen. Um, and slowly working through the, the rocket ships. But that's not what we're gonna do today. We may come back to that just to do another planet. Um, but I wanna work on extreme reactors today. So all of the questing I've been doing for weeks now, whether or not it seemed like it has been for this for these challenges here for making the ultimate ingot right so the ultimate ingot requires a whole lot of different things um some really weird random ingots um none of the normal ingots it's all like specialty ingots right so I've been slowly setting up and going through all the things we did all the mechanism stuff we've done the Britannia stuff we've done um We've done the, the astral sorcery. We've done the, the fancy extended things. Solarium from Mystic Agro, Pink Slime from Foregoing. Pop Graphite from Massive Engineering, Meteoric Iron and Dash. These are the ones that we just did yesterday. I mean, we already had Meteoric Iron, but we had we made Dash. Um, titanium from Alchemistry or Tech Reborn. I've got lots of Titanium from Tech Reborn. Um, so we'll use that. Today, we're going to work on these two, Plutonium and Ludocrite for Extreme Reactors. Uh, we've already got Evil Infused Iron and Enchanted Ingot set up. We've already got Demon Ingot set up. Uh, the Crystal Tine Ingots, we've got that automated. The Vibrant Alloy, we've got that set up. Um, these Electrical Ingots from Armand Plus, we're just going to have to craft. There's no way for me to automate this, which is a little bit of a, a little bit of a bummer. But like, I could, it's a really simple recipe. It's Steel, Redstone, and Glowstone. So I can make a couple of thousand of those just by sitting there and crafting for a little bit. Um, so that's not the end of the world. Um, the Osgo glass, I've automated that. The compression iron, we've got the seeds for that. But that was the pneumatic craft, which we did a couple of weeks back. 
uh, the Spectre Ingot. That's the Ectoplasm that I've got set up in the greenhouse. Uh, the Flux Electrum Ingots. They're set up, <laughs> but that's gonna be a slow process. We may have to, to scale up the production of those ones. Uh, same with these Gelatin Deerium Ingots. Both of those are set up up here, uh, but I've only got like one machine running each. Um, like this is doing the, the Flux Electrum Blend. And this one's doing the, uh, one of these is doing. One of these is doing the, uh, the other one. I think it's this one, but I think the interface is on the back because they were connecting. I think we moved it because we were having, we were having cabling. Cabling issues if my memory serves. Let me just double check that. Uh... Yeah, I did a little interface here. Yeah, so then there's the gelatin durian blend. Uh, like I said, we've only got one machine doing each of those. We'll probably want to scale that up a little bit because we're going to need a couple of thousand of each of these block, each of these ingots um, for what we're, we're working on here. And then we've also got the um, plutonium. Uh, now, apparently you can use tech reborn plutonium. Um, however... I haven't seen a way to get this, right? The only way to get the plutonium, even the tech reborn plutonium, is from... Oh, I could be getting it from uranium in the industrial grinder. Hmm. Well, pity I don't have any uranium ore. Uh, I'm going to do it with alchemistry, which is weird, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it this way. The 94, and to make to make the plutonium, this is the way we're gonna do it. Cause I don't have any uranium. I wonder if I could make uranium. I could probably. It'd be a whole process. Um, we've got the thorn ingots. We did thorn craft ages and ages and ages ago. We've done the honeycomb ingots. Uh, the aluminum ingots. It's just crafting recipe. Tungsten steel was our tech reborn setup. Advanced alloys tech reborn. Uh, dark solarium ingots. Um, that's just some ender IO. Uh, these pulsating crystals are just like this is these are simple crafts. They're just gonna take some time. Um, and then the Einsteinium ingot is also alchemistry. So the two that we don't have, well the three that we well four we don't have. Plutonium, Ludocrite, Plutonium, and Einstein. Right? These are the four main ones. And then there's a couple I'm gonna have to handcraft just because I can't automate them. Um, but if we come over here. And I look up my ultimate, this is the first time I'm opening my ME system for today. Give it a second. I think we're gonna need like 2000, right? In the ballpark of 2000 ingots, right? So if I do a calculation on this, um, we need like <laughs> 8,000 Gaia Spirits. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> we're gonna set something up for that. Maybe we'll set something up for that today. Um, so that others can work on the quest as well. Um, I need more Insanium, uh, more Inferium, sorry, for the Insanium. Um, so, you know, there's that. Um, I need more Insanium. So, sorry, that's a correction. I need more Inferium and I need more Insanium. Right. Beautiful. Um, so we're, we're, we're still working on that. Um, I built a big farm and they're all, all growing. Um, and then down at the very bottom here, we need 23,000 cyanide ingots because you can craft the ludicrite and the plutonium. This is what we need. So I, I need to craft, handcraft the electrical ingots. We need the alchemistry for the plutonium and the einsteinium. And I need 23 cyanide, 23,000 cyanide ingots. Give or take. Whoa, I just got kicked. Game? Game? You don't see that I was kicked. I was forcibly closed by the remote host. Well then, hang on a second folks. Let me just double check what happened there. Nothing. Doesn't even say I disconnected. Okay. Let's 
try reconnecting. <laughs> I'm on the internet. Good morning, Potox. Oof, indeed. The server seems to be rejecting my... Uh, it just disconnected me. And... Now it's not letting me... Oh, there we go. No. Huh. Yeah, it, it just it just kicked me off the server and then I can't connect. Let me try again. Oh, is that thing where it thinks I'm still connected, but I'm not, and that's why I can't connect and I have to reboot the server? I may have to reboot the server, folks. This is annoying. So one of ten let you on. Okay, I'm gonna try kicking myself. Kick district spark. District spark has disconnected reason kick. Let me give this a second. I can reboot. Okay, let me know when you're logged off. Oh, now it says disrespect left the game. Let me try again. Hang on. What is this Sunday morning shenanigans? Don't they know we've got games to play? You're off? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, it let me reconnect. Once I kick myself, it let me reconnect. I feel that was just a weird glitch on my side. I'm not gonna worry about rebooting the server right now. That's fine. We're good. We're good. You can jump back on as you require, good sir. Uh, if it gets bad later, we'll 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 boot it. But I I feel that was a connection issue on my side, and then because I didn't cleanly disconnect, it wouldn't let me reconnect, right? Because it thought I was already on the server. Anyway, so. So yeah, so we need to build a reactor that's going to cover us for about 23 to 30,000 cyanide ingots, I think is what we're looking at. So, extreme reactors is where we're going to do that. We could do that with nuclear craft. There's a couple of options for making extreme reactors, uh, for making cyanide. Uh, cyanide. This stuff. Uh, we can do it as reactor fuel. We have the Eulorium for days. So we use reactor fuel, uh, Eulorium in a big reactor or extreme reactor, sorry. Um, this is the way we're gonna do it. Uh, our other option is a nuclear craft reactor, which may be faster depending on the setup that we make. Um, but you know, I feel like extreme reactor is more in line with the quests and we can have some fun with that. Maybe kinda. We'll see. We're going to make a big ass reactor. Um, so. There is this really neat reactor simulator on the internet um, that you can kind of play with. I haven't designed a reactor. Um, but, you know, we're just going to we're just going to make something up as we go because we can. Um, we're going to need like a lot of gelid cryothium for this. Um, I don't know how, how, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat. I don't know if we need this to be like super efficient. Um, I'm gonna sneeze. What is it? My goodness. Um, yeah, I don't know if we if we want to make this super efficient or if we just want to make it like make us lots of cyanide because that's the thing, right? The server's going to run whether or not we're here or not. 
Um, so, I don't know if we need it to be super efficient or if we just need to have some fun. I believe I'm just I'm just doing a real quick dirty we're gonna do a dirty reactor here folks. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be pretty by any means. Do a real quick simulation. Cause I like I said, I was launching rockets till four o'clock in the morning. Um so not four o'clock, two thirty. Why did I say four? Mm, it feels like four. Uh so I didn't really get as much planned for the today as I was hoping to. One, two hang on. Oh, it's hard to see the center. I need to make this window bigger. I know you can't see what I'm doing. How can I make it so that you can see what I'm doing? I don't think I can. Not with the way I've got this set up. Uh, anyway, give me one second. One, two, three, four. Yep. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Because they're doing a dirty reactor, people are gonna hate, and that's okay. But I'm just doing something simple that I know I can do, right? Fill with all the things. I just need to get an idea of kind of the materials cost, right? For what I want to build. Do 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 do. How's everybody Sunday? Podox, important question. How was date night? How was uh, Carlos's adventures with his uh, mistress? Uh. <laughs> Okay, this is a dirty reactor, but it's okay. Now I know exactly what I'm making in terms of machines. Um, let's make this happen. So I need to make some machines at extreme reactor. Uh, what we should do first though, for the quest is grab the Eulorium. Um, Eulorium? I have, yeah, as I say, I have 1.2 million. Uh, ooh, radiation folks. Mm. I didn't think about that. Is the reactor itself radioactive? Or is just the fuel radioactive? This could be interesting. Okay, quest complete. Let's get rid of the radiation. Um, graphite ingots. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got those as well. Which one do you want? Just normal graphite ingots from nuclear craft. Sure. That's that quest complete. Too easy. Okay. So it wants to make eight reactor core casings. Um, I could do that. That's not part of my final list. So at extreme. Extreme. I cannot spell folks. Okay. So these are these reactor casing cores. We're also going to require... Um, Control rods. We're gonna need some glass because we wanna be able to see what's going on inside the reactor, right? None of this hide things. We need reactor uh, fuel rods. We need the controller. Where's that? There we go. We're gonna wanna pull power out of this. I think we want a flux power tap. Redstone flux power tap. It's which, oh, that's the turbine. Reactor redstone flux power tap. That's the long one. Uh, we probably want a, I'm gonna make the, the redstone port. I don't know if we're gonna use it. I'm probably not gonna, this isn't about efficiency. This is about making lots of cyanide. Uh, we don't have any other use for the Eulorium either. So, you know, we're gonna be good. And then we want some access ports so that we can actually get the fuel in and out. Uh, we don't want any coolants. I don't need to connect a computer to this. 
I don't know what the extreme reactor wrench is for. Okay, I've, oh, and the actual casings itself. I need the casings itself. I think that's all the bits. We may or may not make a turbine. I haven't decided. Um, but we need to craft all these things. So let's get these in the system. We need to leave room for... I think I've finished the platings so I can start filling it under here. Uh, okay. All of the bits. Uh, let's do this. Things that definitely need to stack. And you can go there. You can go there. Yeah, and then these ones can go down here. That's fine. Okay. So it wants us to make. Why do they not show up? Is this not ex Oh, it's big reactors. Ah, big. I don't know why it's called extreme reactors when it's big react. Very confusing. It used to be big reactors back in the day. It wants us to make eight. You're not role playing. What? Ah, uh, missed opportunity, my friend. Missed opportunity. Was the food good then? I guess that's the important question. <laughs> Okay, we got the frames. Uh, oh, it wants us to make a little baby reactor. Psh, three by three. I think no, we're making a 29 by 29 by 46, folks. We're going big. Um, <laughs> uh, to add to our weight. We had dinner in dessert. Dinner in desert at the desert place. I'm going to guess I don't, I don't fully comprehend those words, but I think that's good morning thumbs. Um, but it sounds like you went to a dessert place, which you know what? I am all for dessert as the main meal. I think I even said that yesterday. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. <laughs> I'm surprised you're awake. I'm surprised I'm awake. Um... But as long as you had good time, that is the important part for me. Uh, okay, so let's make let's make some of these things. Um, I need way more than this, but let's make what it wants for the quest to get started. Uh, so let's just make a hundred of those. I need a hundred of everything. So I'm just gonna make a hundred of everything. So a hundred casings, a hundred control rods. We'll make a hundred of those. I need way more than a hundred though. Um, we're going to make a controller and make a couple of access ports. We need our flux power tap. That's main course dessert. It's supposed to be a different restaurant. Oh, we're supposed to be at different restaurants. Same restaurant as the two out. Right, 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 right. Oh. Oh, see, ah, uh, the way you described it, I thought it was three different dates. I didn't realize it was the one date with three different. <laughs> that is so awesome. Uh, I have to admit, yeah, I, this whole not leaving the house malarkey, it's really wearing thin on my soul. Um, and uh, the, I was watching some YouTube last night while I was eating supper and someone took them on, took themselves on a date night. Uh, it was just single person because in some parts of the world still can't, can't connect up with people. Uh, anyway, it was, it was just this, it was this really cute video of all the stuff they did on their date night. And I was just like, you know what? That's what I need to do. Even though like, I don't feel comfortable being around groups of people at the moment yet. Cause I'm still waiting for my second vaccination shot. Um, just taking myself out on a date would be a nice thing to do, you know, grab a coffee, go walk on the boardwalk, grab a sandwich from a, from a deli and, you know, sit there and feed the seagulls type thing, right? Food was amazing. Oh my goodness. Hang on. I need to, folks, get on the discord. Oh my good God. Dude. It does, it does, it seriously looks amazing. 
Uh, see, I am looking forward to when restaurants are, uh, like, back to sit-in deals. Here, we're a little bit, it's a little bit touch and go, you know? It's weird. Some parts of the world are completely reopened, basically. Here, we've, we're on the much more cautious side. Uh, we're trying to get the population to 75% immunized. Once we're at 75% immunized, then the world goes back to normal in Nova Scotia. That's kind of the the metrics that they've set. Um, they're hoping to have that done by the end of September. Uh, so we're going to miss the summer, but, you know, it's all good. We'll get there. Um, but that food looks amazeballs. Man, now I'm hungry. Um, jeez. <laughs> uh, did I not make... I didn't... I thought I made 100 control rods. Oh, did I make one control rod? I totally made one control rod, folks. Rip. Um, do I need glass for the quest? I sure do. I'll make a hundred glass. And then I'll also make a hundred casings again, because I use up the casings. You made a string reactor? There, um... Hey, Attila. How you doing? Uh, they are... They're okay. They're not like super efficient or anything. Um, they can make a decent amount of power. Uh, what do we got here? We've got casings. I need cores. The 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 one weird part is the filling them with liquid coolant, um, which is going to be a bit of a process. But we will get it done. Okay, so we need to make, yeah, cooling. 12 buckets of gelid crothium, really? Oh, you want me to make a, oh, you want me to make a turbine as well? Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, sure, we can do that. Um, okay, let's get some buckets. We can get those happening. We will... Okay. We're going to need, like, a lot of Jellied Crothium. 12 is not going to be enough, but we'll get what we need for the quest. Uh, which one of these is Jellied Crothium? I think it's this one. It's this one. Boom. Give me all the buckets, please. I am totally going to do this with pumps. Okay, I'm going to put all that back for now. Okay, let's go set up this reactor. Now, it wants us to make a baby reactor. I don't really want to make a baby reactor. I want to make a big ass reactor. Um, so, you know, we're going to make a big ass reactor. Where are we? Okay. So, the biggest reactor we can make is a 29 by 29 by 46. I mean, it's technically it's a 30 by 30 by 46. But ain't nobody got time for um, things not being even being even numbers. Uh, so the one it wants us to make is a 3 by 3 by 3. Oh, here, this is the link to the reactor builder. This is neat. This allows you to kind of simulate what the reactor uh, is going to be like. Um, so we're going to need to clear some space. Maybe we'll make this the center. Let me work out where this is. Reactor casing. Uh, what side is this on? This side? So we're going to make that our center point. I think that's fine. Let's do some math. So the 29 is the internal, right? So we go, uh, so what's that? So it's, uh, what, 14 out on each side. Let's not use dirt. Let's use that to so two, two, four, oh, man. two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Two, four, six, eight, 12, 
14. Am I say that's right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Can I not count? One on each side? So this will be the exterior wall then. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. How did that get shorter? Oh, did I just count badly? Maybe I just counted badly. Hang on, folks. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So that's the wall. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, three, two, three, three, four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, which is that that makes more sense. So I was one short on the other side, which is why that was not making any sense, and now it all makes sense. Um so the X so the twenty nine by twenty nine is the internal. Um, dimensions, this external is just the wall. Uh, so we're gonna do the same out here. This is a big reactor. We, we may regret making such a big reactor, but that's fine. Um, one of the great things about big reactors is they don't melt down, right? Two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So that'll be there. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and that'll be there, right? Looks like a square to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Just got to get this right to begin with, because once I start building this, I don't want to pull it down again to make it right. Um, so let us put reactor casings around the outside. Let us start building the reactor casings we need. So reactor at big reactor. So I require 16,500 fuel rods, 500 and I mean, 6,500 will be fine. Because I've already got 64 in my inventory. Please and thank you. Um, I also require 360 controllers. I need another 200, 300 of those. And then I'm going to need... Um, I need a calculator. 29, no, 31 by 31 times two plus 46 plus 46 plus 46 plus 46. We need 2,100 casings and that means I need about 5,000 glass. So let's make 5,000 glass. And we'll make 2,200 of those. Okay, we'll get all that crafting happening. Good to go. Okay, so reactor casings go around the outside. It's actually gonna fill in the whole floor on the bottom level, but around the outside for now. Let's get this happening. We 
We might do um, a baby reactor to just do the turbine for the quest. Uh, but this will be our produced cyanide reactor, right? I don't know. I was going to like, this would be, this would make a decent amount of fuel as well. I'm going to make about 1.5 million RF a tick when it's all set up, which isn't huge. Uh, no, no, not at all. It's all about fuel efficient, uh, about heat efficiency. So like if it's super hot, it will burn through the fuel faster, right? Um, which, so you'll get a less return, but you'll get more, more waste, right? And we need like, what, what was I, I was doing the math before, like about 23, 24,000 um, cyanide ingots if I want to make 2,000 ultimate ingots. Um, so it'll be somewhere in the ballpark of, uh, of, of that. Um, but I figure we're going to make, so the reactor that I'm making makes about 75 ingots, um, sorry, 75 millibuckets of waste a tick, right? So 75... Assume that there's no TPS. 75 times 20. Um, so we're making about one and a half ingots a second. So we're probably making like about two thirds of an ingot to, uh, we're making about one ingot a second, give or take, depending on the TPS. Um, so, you know, 23,000 ingots, not gonna take that long to make. Um, and I figure that like by by next weekend, doesn't matter what size I make, as long as I'm burning the fuel, I'll have a decent amount of, of cyanide. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. I'm just making a big one because I can. And if I make a small one, I, I mean, I could definitely make a, a severely inefficient reactor just to like burn through fuel. Um, Maybe we do that, actually. I mean, mm. so part of it as well is like having the fun of building a crazy reactor, right? Let me try this. If I, uh, new reactor, 29 by 29 by 46. And we just fill this with fuel rods. So, so what I'm building uses 92 ingots a minute. Um, what I could build uses 195 ingots a minute. And produces about double the waste. So yeah, it's not much of a difference. And it only makes 2,000 more RF a tick. So, yeah, I'm going to go with my my crazy not-so-efficient reactor, I think. I think this is going to be fine. Okay. Let us get rid of these counting blocks. I believe there's a tape measure mod, right? where you can click a block and then, is that in here? It is. Can I make that? Does this do what I think it does? If I click there and do that, Oh, it does. Okay. I mean, that's less than ideal. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, maybe useful. And shift right click to clear it. Hmm. That might be easy. It, the other thing is, it's not, uh, it's not easy to measure. I guess, no, I guess you can see as long as you're going backwards. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what the, what the bibliocraft tape measure is like. 
Let me try that one real quick. Totally getting sidetracked, as per usual, folks. You know me. How's the bibliocraft tape measure work? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Kind of prefer that because it it shows me based on where I'm looking. No, it's where I'm standing. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. I'm getting distracted here, folks. Save the tape missions for later. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I just realized the sounds turned way down from when we were fighting those bobs yesterday. So many bosses. I need to do more dragon fights, folks. Whenever I turn down the sound, I think about turning down the sound for the dragon fights because the dragon's are always super loud. But we need, I think we're at like 46% on our dragon fights. Now I want to double check. Uh, no, I'm 40%. Uh, only 20 out of the 50. I need to, need to do more. Okay. So this is going to be our reactor. She's a big boy. Um, we want to do... Let's get rid of some blocks that we picked up there. Where's my time in a bottle? Panicked for a second there that I lost my time in a bottle. Okay. Um, so we want to make a controller. Let's put that here, where it's easy for us to access. We would like a couple of access ports. Um, sure, there and there. And we would like our flux point. That will go there. Uh, now, one of these, I want to set to output and eject the waste. And this one is going to be input. Beautiful. Okay. So then now I think I could use, these are tile entities. So I can't use um, my building gadget for this, which is a little unfortunate, but I should be able to use, um, where's my unbreaking? I think I can use this, right? Sure, I sure can. Okay, beautiful. Let's grab as many of these as we can at big reactor. We'll do the frame and then we'll fill in the, the other bits. Building one saves me clicking a thousand. I mean, I'm still clicking a lot of times, but can you imagine if I was clicking 2000 times to place all these? Nah, bro. Slight delay is the server lag, but that's okay. I'm also placing like a lot of blocks, right? Okay, so then let's do our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. We went for two, for three, for four, for five, 46. And then this is the roof. Holy moly, that's a big reactor. Eh. Uh, let us do. This, I don't know where, let me. I don't have to count anymore. Oops. I know it requires one fuel rod. We're trying to get to that little game. Well, I don't want to do that. That's going to make a mess. 
on the sides to be transparent. This is a big ass reactor. I mean, I don't need to make it this big. This is going to be a lot of jelly crothium. Hmm, I guess I should. Oops, probably went too high. I guess I should probably be start making the jelly crothium, eh? I wonder if I've got enough stuff to make this much jelly crothium. Hmm, okay. A couple things we should check. A couple things we should. I did go too high. How much uh, stuff do we have? Um, calf. What are they called? Calf. Uh, Clatherites, right? Two by one million. Um, we should be okay. I need twenty-two thousand buckets. Two by one million. That's fine. Um, we're good. I should start melting that though. So let's get this frame happening, and then we'll start melting some gelacrothium. Cause we're gonna need gelacrothium for days. Oh, now here's the thing. The wireless over... Over dimensions costs money, doesn't it? Not money, but power. So I might want to make a quantum entangleoper. Oh, I'm out of casings. Oh, actually, clathrites won't do gelacrosium. No, they don't. They do... Let's just check. Let's just change this reactor to liquid ender. Maybe we'll do a slightly less efficient one. See, again, like efficiency isn't the goal here because the server will just run and we'll have um, all the things we need, right? Whatever we finalize here, I will share the link to this layout so you can play with it yourselves. Okay. Yeah, same amount of fuel. Yeah, okay, we'll use liquid ender. That'll make my life a little bit easier. Could also do it with um could also just do it with diamond blocks. Hang on, let's check diamond blocks for the sake of it. Because if the diamond blocks are cheaper, then I don't have to melt anything and I don't have to pump liquid for days. Or if the diamond blocks you make a similar amount of power anyway. Do, 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 do. So I'm using the the reactor builder from the quest chain. There's a, a URL um, in the in the quest. I unfortunately do not have set up you guys to see outside of Minecraft. So I sorry. Okay, diamond block. Diamond blocks are... Uh, but now we just... Yeah, now we need to automate Einstein. Yep. Einstein and plutonium protons. Unless you've been getting the plutonium from... From crushing uranium with a industrial grinder. Either way, it's going to be gross. Uh, but yeah, got to automate Einstein. That's going to be... That's going to be my list for next week. Uh, yeah, guys, we're going to do this with diamond blocks. Because this is going to make my life even easier. And I don't have to worry about pumping fluids. So I need 22,000 diamond blocks. Yeah, it won't be too bad. Based on what I've... So this is what this is how I'm going to do it. Plutonium and Einstein. So Plutonium's 94. Um, Einstein is 99. Um, now, Platinum, which I have, like, unlimited amounts of... Uh, is 78. Boron, which I also have unlimited amounts of, is 5. 
and sulfur, which I also should should have unlimited amounts of, is 16. So plutonium is platinum and sulfur. Einsteinium is platinum, sulfur, and boron. Um, so that's kind of how I think I'm going to do these two ingots that I need to do. Um, so, you know, these are not terrible combinations, but I think they're going to be fine. I think it's going to be fine. Um, those were the best combinations I found for what I had available to me. Right? There may be better options out there. Don't worry about the fuel rods just yet. Because there are definitely like easier combinations, but some of the easier combinations are too hard to get to. Like you gotta you gotta join other things together to get to them. Uh, that was kind of like the best option I could find that like boron, sulfur, and plutonium. I have seeds for all of them, right? Not plutonium, platinum. So I got 1.3 million platinum. I got 1 million sulfur. I got 1.5 million boron. So I think like that's going to be good, right? Uh, I need to make diamond blocks. I need 2,000. No, 22,000. Ooh, 200. So it's 200,000 diamonds, folks, but it's easier than melting down fluids. Okay. So then what I want to do, I want to come in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is method in my madness, folks. Don't you worry. Okay. Grab our builder's wand. Fill in the sides here. Oh, game. Why are you doing me dirty like that? What you doing to me? Apparently I can't stand on top of it because the server doesn't think the block breaks, so it breaks me off. that only for one it's because it was saving the world folks saving the world one block at a time okay boom 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 ah dang it did it on this side too didn't see that I mean, to be fair, you can just do all the sides of the reactor casing. It doesn't need to be clear. I just want it to be clear, right? Because I think that'll look cool.
Do -do 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 -do. Clearing up my mess. Okay, and then we want to do reactor core controllers. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, this is not the most efficient way of doing this. This is just a way that I know works well for what I need. And it looks cool. And it's easy to build. Without too many shenanigans involved. Because you can have shenanigans with these reactors. You can do some really crazy, actively cooled layouts and stuff. Uh, for cyanite, if I want to make 2000 ultimates, um, the cyanite calculation was um, about 23,000. Which I figure um, what I'm... Oh, alchemistry ingots? Well, it's one for each, right? So if you want to make... So the ones that I the ones that I know of is the plutonium. Even though it says tech reborn, it's it's made with alchemistry, um, and Einsteinium. So two thousand of each of those. Um, so then, but like each each one needs sixteen essence, right? So it's going to be a lot of combining. So the plutonium ingots give us 16. Sorry, platinum ingots give us 16. I think they all give us 16, right? Yeah, boron 16. Sulfur might be a different. No, sulfur gives us 16 as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it'd be... Yeah, so Einsteinium ingot is one platinum, one boron, and one sulfur. And plutonium is one platinum and one sulfur. I think that's just based on the math that I've done. I may have that math wrong. <laughs> We're going to work that out next week. But I'm pretty sure that's that's right, right? And I'm thinking I'm going to make, like like I said, probably 2,000 ultimate ingots to begin with. That'll be my starting point. And then if I need more after that, we'll make more. But so, yeah, so I need, like, it's only going to require, like, 2,000 platinum, 2,000 sulfur, and 2,000 boron, right? Out of the millions that I've got, I think I'm going to be okay. It's going to be a slow process, though, so we're going to want to set up multiple machines to do it. Um, but again, server running over the week. By the following week, we're probably going to have all the stuff we need. So, 77 and 22. Iridium, yep. Titanium. Okay. That's definitely a thing. Uh, how much iridium do I have? Yep. Titanium. I don't have as much titanium, but I still have a lot of titanium. Um, what's that? So... What was it? 77 and 22. That gives you the, the... The 99 for Einsteinium. What about Plutonium? Plutonium's 94. Yeah, I probably don't have growth accelerators underneath my um, titanium. The other reason I picked the, the recipes that I did was because then I wouldn't have to do multiple different things. <laughs> I could use the, the same setup for both. I just leave out a step. Yeah. Because essentially to make the Einsteinium, I'm going to make the Plutonium, right? 
But I mean, that still works. I could do platinum and sulfur for plutonium and then uh, titanium and iridium for Einsteinium ingots and run them both at the same time rather than one relying on the other. That is definitely an option. Okay, those are my f controllers, my fuel rods, and then we're gonna do another ring inside here of casings. Placing all the blocks, folks. Ah! Okay. Next up, we want to do the reactors, the, not the casing, the fuel rods. We're going to do fuel rods underneath all of these. Again, not the most efficient route. I'm going to keep saying that because, you know, people are going to say, oh, you could do it X, Y. I'm aware. <laughs> This is about not efficiency, but fun. I'm gonna use double silver, 47. Sure. That works. Yeah, 47 works. I've probably got heaps of silver too. 3.2 million. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, I want to do this. Let's do this smart district. Save yourself some time. If I do that, that, that. You want to make as many of those fusion things as you possibly can, because my goodness, they take a hot second. Good morning, JC. Good morning. How goes it? I'm building a dirty great big reactor. It's not efficient, but that's okay. Oh yeah, that is where my fuel rods are going. Now I basically just need to build them down to the ground. Offline for two hours? That's unfortunate. Waiting for server. Come on, server. We've got blocks to place. Let me place them. Oh, I'm out of. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, let's put those away. Let's put those away for now. Chemical combiners are really, really slow. Yep. They sure are chemical combiners. Yeah, so yeah, you need the chemical combiner to craft the ingot, right? And then it's the multi-block, the fusion reactor for the, um, actually producing the, for the, uh, for producing the thingies. It's going to be a whole process. Oh, folks, I'm giving the server a run for its money. To be fair, I've got to place like 17,000 of these cores. And then I've got to place 22,000 diamond blocks. This one's a 29 by 29 by 46. Which is not as big as it could be, but you know, keeping it interesting. Um, it is actually about as big as it could be. I, I can't bring myself to make a even number reactor, right? The 30 internal makes me sad. Um, 
And again, like this is not this is not an efficient setup by any means, JC. This is just something that's gonna make me a decent amount of cyanite relatively quickly, so that by the time I need it in a week's time, maybe two weeks time, um, I will have. Uh, no, probably uh, no. It probably is gonna be two weeks time because I'm gonna need to wait for the site for the alchemistry stuff to catch up with me. All right. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be Gucci, as the kids say. Waiting for the server. Keep up with my block placing. Okay, we've we've placed about a third of the the cores. Yeah, I figure I need about um, 23, 24,000 cyanide, which that should be fine. Take a little bit of time, but I figure if it's running all week, like you set yours up last week, yeah. So how long, how much cyanide have you got? That's the question. Block place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about ten times uh, what I'm what I'm aiming for. So, so yeah, I figure I figure this will be fine. And this is like, even though this is a really 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 big reactor, this is going to be a really simple reactor because I'm not going to use fluid for cooling. Um, it was bigger than mine. That's what she said. Um, the yeah, I'm just going to use diamonds for cooling because the, the difference between a fluid coolant and solid coolant is like minuscule. Also what she said. Um, okay. And I figure I can also like turn it off once we get to a certain amount. Although we could probably just keep making it for power. I could put um, whatever lens color is in is needed in the void miners for the eulorium and like increase my my chance of getting eulorium. Oops, that's too many. Yeah, yeah. I I was gonna do cryo because that's what I've done in the past. I was like, ooh, how am I gonna make cryo? Because I forgot I can't make cryo with clathrites. So I changed that to Ender, and then I was like, ooh, but then I gotta place 22,000 buckets worth of Ender. I was like, can I just do this with diamonds so I can do it with a builder's wand? Yes, yes, I can do this with diamonds. And it gives me basically the same output. So you know what? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Oops, I don't want casings yet. We'll get to the exterior wall soon, folks. Oops, no, don't want that either. And then we're going to make a baby uh, reactor for the quest for the, um, for the turbine. Just to keep it interesting. Now, I don't believe mobs can spawn on top of this. Um, I don't believe these are spawnable blocks. Um, but do be aware of that just in case you are in a dimension where mobs spawn. I mean, I am in a dimension where mobs spawn, but it's always daytime, right? So as long as there's no shadows, there's nowhere for the mobs to spawn. Also, make sure I've got all this loaded. This would be so much faster if I could use a building gadget. But tile entities. Okay. Almost at the bottom, folks. Almost there. Then we're just going to do the diamonds. I don't know if the diamonds will be faster because they're not tile entities. They may be. I don't know. I mean... Protoss, the only thing you can do is wait for me to get to the bottom. 
Because that's where we're going. All the way down. to put it back and made it easier yeah i've done i've used the the mech pump you know the one that fills in spaces um that's what i used in stone block 2 although in stone block 2 i only made one that was like six high or whatever i didn't make the full 46 high um oh you can't dig oh podux i'm sorry <laughs> I still have all the coolant to place though. I'm not finished. <laughs> I'm not finished, I'm sorry. Okay. Almost got these casing, these uh, rods down though. Hey, at least I'm not um, stalling the server with fluid dynamic updates anymore. That was so rough. <laughs> the first time we did that. Oh my god, the server <laughs> had a little meltdown. Did I make enough of these rods? I sure hope I did. I did not make enough rods, folks. I feel that's not enough rods. I am out of rods, but... Or did I make exactly enough rods? Did I make exactly enough rods? No, get out of town. I feel like I did. I feel if I didn't have it right, there would be, I would see inside somewhere I was missing, right? Okay, now I need the 22,000 diamond blocks. It's only made 13,000 of them. Okay. We're not flexing, folks. We're just not dealing with fluids. I also expect there are others on the server with more diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Snap, JC. I also assume there are people on the server with more diamonds than I. But yeah, see how much faster that place. Uh, uh, I guess, I guess they are only doing fours there. Emerald for your face, jeez. Yeah, that's that's a flex. I've got like 1.2 million or something. Like, yeah, there are definitely people on the server who got more diamonds than I have. Uh, 2.9 million, and I think this cost me a hundred and like a hundred and. Uh, 160,000 to make the, the blocks. Oh yeah, no, that's, oh, it was Saving World. So that's pretty slow even to place these. I don't have any essence. I'm converting all the essence directly into ores. Oops, out of diamonds. Block of diamond. Where did I miss? Over here. Do, 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 placing blocks for days. Do, 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 placing blocks for days. To be fair, this is going across like nine chunks as well so it's going to do a whole lot of calculations
it's also not making them fast enough. I'm going to have finished. I will run out of diamonds before. Before we get enough. Oh, run out again. Yeah. I'm almost finished, Bodux. I'm not. I'm getting closer, but I'm not almost finished. Because I still have to do the center as well. Although, like I said, we're going to run out of diamonds before we, like, we're, gonna, we're, we're, we're using them faster than we're crafting them. Oh, I could do this with building gauge. Uh, no, building gauge would still be slower. Oh, we're out. This is one of the downsides of, ex of building extreme sized extreme reactors. 120 black iron to craft. Ugh. Black iron takes so long to craft. My goodness. So gross. Even with like it's supercharged with the seven by seven ender crafter, like ugh, still takes so long. Um, yeah, this is one of the downsides of making extreme size extreme reactor is that it, like, there's a lot of blocks to place, right? Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. More diamonds, more diamonds. Long time ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we're almost at the top. Are we gonna, mm, yeah, we're gonna run out before we get the outside done. Good morning, Katiana. Good morning, good morning. Happiest of Sundays. We're placing diamonds. Because apparently diamonds are an efficient coolant. I actually don't know what the thermodynamic properties are of diamonds. I would assume that they don't transfer heat well. But I mean, they are made of carbon, so maybe they do. You need one to two Kariana? I'm not gonna lie, I did bring two cans to my desk this morning. Cause you know. Launching rockets till 2.30 a.m., folks. 2.30 a.m. Rockets for days! Oh, which reminds me. JC. Just gonna leave that there for a second. You may not be able to see. Maybe too far away. <laughs> those quests, seriously, those rocket quests take so freaking long. This is unsurpassed them. Oh, wow. Okay. Take back what I said. JC's proven us wrong. Unsurpassed them with 2,000. I don't know what the W is. 
MK seeds that of copper by a factor of five in cryogenic transmitter where the heat is conducted by electrons. Lattice vibrations are responsible for diamonds high thermocritically. Okay, interesting. So I wonder though, I wonder if that makes diamonds fragile, right? Because if it's if it's vibrations, does that increase the chances of the um the bonds of the the carbon from breaking apart? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just asking a question as a non-science person. We're so close to the roof, folks. But that does intrigue me. That does intrigue me because I would not have... Like I said, I would not have picked diamonds. Which is interesting though, because like... Like, um, I know for a fact that... Um, uh, what's that? What's the... Carbon nanotubes. What's that? Graphite. What's the stuff that is it the miracle material? Graphene. What's it called? I'm totally mental blanking. Anyway, I know that stuff has amazing thermal properties. Um, so uh, the reactor we're building is as big as. Well, it's not quite as big as we can build, but the biggest um, odd number reactor that I can build. 29 by 29 by 46 internal. So it's a uh, 31 by 31 by 49. And I'm using diamond blocks because I didn't want to place 22,000 buckets of fluid. Uh, I figured placing 22,000 diamond blocks would be easier. Although I'm not making them fast enough um, is a problem I'm noticing. But this is just the outside. Not quite enough to go all the way around. Okay, so while that's happening though, let's see if we can make the reactor. Let's take the, the glass frames and let's start getting those in place around the outside oh. wait for the diamonds to catch up to us <laughs> well Kenyana, I do also have 1.2 million eulorium to burn, right? So like, I don't have, like, like I'm at the end game of this mod pack. I got resources for days. And then some. all to three high and then it'll it'll go around the corners because this corner and that corner are close enough that they will do the whole thing at once saving me energy and time in fact I could do it across the back So many blocks to place to make a big ass reactor. Waiting for the server. Let's some more. Some more diamonds while we're here. Do the last level of the diamonds on the roof first. So I have to do the internal core for the diamonds, but we'll come back to that. Okay, that's external for the diamonds done. Those back in there for a moment. Have as many reactor casings as we can. 
Mine is at 45%. Hey, that's not bad. Did you run out of... But is that because it ran out of coal? Or is it because... Like, is it still running? Because it may have, like, stopped in the middle of the night, right? Still going to slower. Yeah, I... But my... Mine had, like, four Kekamuras on it, right? So, like... I had... That's, that's why mine only took 12 hours. But yours will be done by tomorrow. Casings or days. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, of course not. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, this, like I say, this is not the most efficient setup. This is just a setup that will work. And by this time next week, I will have more than enough cyanide for what I need to craft. It would be neat to do to like do the math and work out like what the most efficient way of setting this up is. But I'm also lazy. Um, so you know, that's a thing. Um Kariana, how much you mana did you make? How much is the question? And hopefully it didn't crash. Okay. We're almost there, folks. I've almost finished wanding uh, Potox. I'm getting real close. Just need to do the central core. Almost. I have. This is. I did not make enough glass, folks. Listen, I'm pretty sure I didn't make enough glass. Maybe I did. Maybe I'm grossly... No, I didn't make enough glass. Damn. Now we've got to find where I ran out there. That's where we ran out. Okay, while that's happening, let's place these in the center. Hot tip. Pick a corner. or pick a, Yeah, pick a corner, not a side, because it's easier to line up with a corner. Diamonds. Okay. Uh, JC, question. Does your stream react to create radiation? Or is it just the ingots that create the radiation? I think it's just the ingots that create the radiation. Right, because yeah, the Eulorium, when I put it in my inventory, was like, <laughs> radiation. So, and I don't think cyanide's radioactive, is it? That's a question. Uh, it is. Oh, it is radioactive. Interesting. Um, so I probably don't want to leave any large quantities lying around. Good to know. This is much, much nicer doing this central block. A lot less laggy. Diamonds for days. This is a lot of diamonds, folks. <laughs> Run out. Run out. Am I going to have enough? Am I going to need to make more? No, I made enough to cover what we needed. I did the math. 
Did I math wrong? Maybe I mathed wrong. I hope I didn't. Oh no. Stick it out the top. We're good. Forty-three. Maybe we're just a little short because that's more than forty-three. Dang it, Bobby! Uh, let's go back to our. Oh, I feel like I did not make nearly enough extra casings either. How close were we? <laughs> oh, I can't win! Okay. That should cover our diamond needs. Okay. Reactor. Okay. Then I just need the last of these guys. Another 40 might do. I don't know. Steam turbine. The boiler. What is the size of your boilers and steam turbine? So my steam turbine's the biggest it can be. Which is whatever the biggest it can be. <laughs> I don't remember. Is it 40... Is it 42 by 42 by 42? I don't remember what that is. Um, and then the boilers, I think, are 13 by 13 by... By... Whatever the tallest is as well. I'm sorry, JC. I don't, re I don't recall. My brain, she is... No memories. This is all for making cyanide ingots for the ultimate ingots. Yes, that is correct, Kriana. That's what all this is for. I just... I, that wasn't enough. It was not enough. I short by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Yeah, I don't need the power. I mean, this is going to make 1.5 million RF a tick, which I'll take, but I certainly don't need it. This is not power that we require. There we go. Yeah, no easy crafting recipe like in DDSS. Okay, there is our reactor. We can tell that it formed because all of these blocks have changed, right? Um, and now we can click on these controllers. Uh, they all work. We can go down here. We're now red here rather than black. We can see what we're using. Uh, so let's get this plugged in and hooked up. So let's grab ourselves a plug. For receiving from the network. Let's put this on the generator network and we will disable the transfer limit um we're going to need so my understanding is putting wireless across dimensions is very expensive so we're going to use a quantum entangleoper um this bad boy with the me ring i'm gonna need uh another eight of these Yeah. Just don't break the reactors. You can break the turbines and the boilers because they just reform. But just don't break the reactors. Because <laughs> then I have to restart them. But yeah, feel free. Go nuts. Um, quantum. And I need another. Did I make another quantum link chamber? I did not. Okay, and then we're going to want. I'm going to want a dense. Uh, Energy cube. 
we are going to want a uh, energy energy receiver receiver if I can spell I just feel my brain my brain doesn't function folks this guy oh acceptor and acceptor that's why my brain doesn't function okay there's our link chamber there's our dense cube excuse me um waiting on they're both gonna be waiting on thingies yeah waiting on glass energy acceptor seven and eight quantum ring and then I want another flux point okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up um do this It's going to be a little bit weird, but bear with me. You. And then you go there. And then what we've got to want is... Dense cube. And an energy acceptor. Flux point can go there. Connect, thank you. Hundred and eighty one buckets. Oh, Miller buckets. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so she's connected up. Uh, I need to do the same on the other side. Let's grab a cable. Come off there. I'm gonna go some little cable. I'm gonna go at export bus and import bus. Let's get acceleration cards. Import bus. Okay. Export. Import. Like a soul, like a soul, like a soul. Uh, let us go back home and hook up this side. Oop, flying up. Um, so for this side, I think what I'm going to do... Let's do this here. Uh, this one's going to make cyanide, and then I'm going to make a baby reactor for the quest, JC. So, we're gonna, this is purely about making the waste for the plutonium and the lucrite, and then we're going to make a um, a baby reactor just for the for the quest. Oh, for my steam chip. Sorry, sorry. So using reactor to heat. Yes. So yeah. So the reactor heats up the boiler using the the heat transfer pipes, um, and then the. Um, and then the boiler transfers the steam to the transfers the steam to the um, the turbine. Okay, so what we set up here, folks, is a quantum ring. Um, so this is multi-block from A two. Um, it uses a quantum entangled singularity which you create by dropping a singularity and one ender dust and causing explosion within range. Um, very simple, but it's unique, right? The, this singularity and the one I stuck on the other side, they're quantumly bound, i.e. they have the same ID. Um, they don't stack beyond two. It's only those two will ever stack together. But what they allow is for us to create a bridge 
from here across to a similar setup on the other side. So we've got this one here, and then this connects to the network on the other side in our reactor world. And that's, I mean, it's not free, um, but the, because I'm, it just uses power, um, you just gotta make sure the power is running on the other side, right? Uh, so that's the that's the one thing. It doesn't transfer power through the A network. Um, the A network on the other side needs to be powered for this to work, uh, which is why I put the the dense cube down there and stuff. Um, but then this is now connected. So I should, in theory, be able to export Eulorium. Eulorium. The one point two million. I'm just gonna put one in my inventory. Export Eulorium with acceleration cards. And fingers crossed in a second this will start exporting Eulorium. Right? Right. Export. Two channels. Hmm. No worky? <sighs> Inlet mode. Oh no, it is working. It is working. 1% full. Yeah. It's working. It's just a really, 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 really big reactor. 1.5% <laughs> full. 1.6% full. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Good morning, Shifter. Hello. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's speeding up now. It's speeding up now. Um, yeah, that is... <laughs> Kind of funny. Uh, okay, let's just make sure this is, yeah, this is a little kind of loaded chunk. Um, yes, yeah, Schweppes. Um, how much, this is gonna use up a lot of Eulorium just to get started. So this is one of the downsides of making a really big reactor is those fuel rods that we placed need to be filled with Eulorium for this reaction to start working. Um, so that's a little bit spicy. It's a little bit spicy. Okay, while that is filling up, because I want to turn it on until it's full, uh, let's work on the baby reactor for the turbine. How you doing, Shifter? How is your weekend coming along? I am feeling it right in the chest today, folks. Reactor coolant port. I did not teach the system how to make those. Uh, let's go to the system how to make those. And all the bits we need for the turbo. Uh, reactor at big reactor. So we need the coolant port. And we're going to need the turbine bits. So the turbine bits. I've never made the turbine. Controller. Okay. Bearing. Fluid ports. Housing, turbine glass. Oh, I need the ludicrate blocks to even make this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So, rotor bearing. We need the rotor shaft. Oh, and that needs the cyanide. Oh, okay. So you actually have to have the reactor up and running before we can do this. Signing paperwork for new position. Right? Nice, nice. Congratulations, my friend. Oh man, we need a lot of. Si okay, I'm gonna need more side out. Um, and then I needed the turbine housing. Well, that requires whatever this is. Turbine housing core. And then we need the. Uh, Turbine controller. 
that needs plutonium. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we need to, some of this we're not gonna make until we've started the other reactor. Well, that sucks. Um, turbine flux power point. And what's that in? Turbine fluid port, that was the other one. I've already got blocks of ludicrite set up for the quests. I think that's it. Controller, flux, bearing, fluid, casing. Oh, the glass casing. We lost your time robotic cutting out of no. That's not cool. Hopefully you place it somewhere. Something to remember with, if you've got a, if you're playing a quest that's got Draconic in it, you can place items in the world. It's very easy to do accidentally. I'm just saying. Because <laughs> I've done it once or twice before. <laughs> uh, it sucks when it happens. Okay. And then the bearings. Okay, so let's make let's make uh, this little baby reactor again. So I need to make these again. So I need 57 reactor casings. Sure. I need five reactor. Sure. I need 15 of these. And say, why is that not crafting? Why is that not crafting? Just taking its time. Re I still don't have a stonework set up to make glass, folks. I apologize. Um, so yeah, I still, I still craft, I craft sand with essence and then smelt it. That's why anything that take, uses glass takes time to craft. Uh, <laughs> access ports again. These and then I require the Mr. Flux Power Tap, that's the one. And then thirty two of the glass. Thirty glass. Okay, so I'm gonna build this like mini reactor as well. And this will be for the turbine quest. Come on, reactor glass, you can do it. Do, do, do. We haven't even scratched our 1.2 million. I mean, we're using it pretty quick. But it seems to be okay. Okay. I will grab that from the other side. I'm sure you'll find a Katiana. When did you last use it? So where do I want to build this? Because I do need it to use access this as well. Um, how high are we? You know what? We're pretty high up. Let's do something a little bit weird. Let's do this. This is a little three by three. I'm gonna build this in the ground. And then I'm gonna build the turbine. I'm gonna build two turbines at the sides. Did it end up in the smell tree? That could be a thing. Oh, 
Oh, three by three is a five by five out, out, outside. Never mind. I was like, why is this? It is an extreme reactor shifter. That is correct. And I was feeling lazy and not wanting to deal with fluid mechanics. So I filled it with diamonds instead of gelid cryothium. Uh, it's not an efficient layout. It is just a functional layout, right? But I just, I, I couldn't be bothered dealing with pumping 22,000 buckets of fluid in to make it run. My shovel is too OP. Do, 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 do. Um, and then I need to go down still, actually, now that I think about it, because it's five by five. Three by three internal. Okay. And in fact... Oh, yep. No, that's on the junk batter. That's where it's going. That is where she's going. Okay, so, react casings. This is the this is the one that it wants you to make for the quest, folks, right? Uh, chest all the sorry. Mmm That sucks. I hope you find it. I don't know. I don't remember if I saw it in your inventory. I was my brain is not functioning from last night. Um So I want to do... So they want us to do this version? Cool. So I'm going to do... Reactor... There. These can face up, by the way, folks. Just, just so you're aware. Um, then you can go there. And then I'm going to do... Reactor port there and there, and we will make this side output again. And then... Power. Really want the power on top, but I also want accessible. I feel like I need to move that, this, but it's there now, so I don't want to move it. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna do it this way. You. Oh no, I don't have control over what's. I can't control what side these connect on, can I? No. Found it. Nice. Okay, she's going to live there. Let's grab a Lux plug. Dispatch generator. Always on. Okay. Uh, I know it wants me to make glass walls. This is underground. We're going to use these filled in walls, folks. Hiding in a shulker in Thorncraft. How did it end up there? We'll use the glass on top. But these are all underground, so... And then we've got fuel rods in the corners. And then what we'll actually do to move that fuel rods in the middle. Go grab those jelly crothian buckets I wanted us to make. All 12 of them. Is our little baby reactor to go alongside our extreme reactor. Uh, so then these 
So in the extreme rector, because I didn't want to deal with fluids, I'm using uh, diamond blocks. They're just as efficient, maybe not quite like exactly efficient, but they're just as efficient as the gelocrothium or enderium options. Uh, or sorry, liquid ender, sorry, not enderium. Um, but for our use case, it was way easier to place all those diamonds than it was to place 22,000 buckets of gelocrothium. My goodness. Okay. And then here, we're gonna go here, and here, and here. Now, Gelocrothium may freeze the top of this. Yeah, it's gonna do that. Um, we wanna put down a glowstone lamp. And Podox, did we establish a glowstone lamp melts snow? I think it did. I'm gonna try it. Hopefully that will be enough. Um, and then the glass. Shouldn't, shouldn't form. Did an SP2, okay. So the glass shouldn't, cause that's a transform block. It shouldn't connect, couldn't, shouldn't get snow, but I'm not sure about this one. Um, okay. So this is our little baby reactor, uh, which we need to hook this up as well. This can run. This can probably start running before this big one can start running. Oh no, she's full. Okay, sweet. Uh, okay, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna do another export bus. Export on that side. Another import bus. Oh, I just realized I've built this wrong. Um, okay, JC's gonna know the answer to this one because I don't know the answer to this one. The reactor coolant port for the turbine. So before I start this, I need to insert water and then I need to extract the steam. Does both of those happen with the coolant ports? Because I don't know the answer to that. need to wrench okay and and then when I'm building the turbine like so if I put if I put the coolant export in the middle on this side is that going to affect the turbine so like if I put it there like is it, does there something need to be something in the middle of the turbine that's going to cause problems I guess we'll find out, eh? Um, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, cool. So let's make three of these. I know this little reactor is not gonna run both turbines at full capacity, um, but just, you know, symmetry. I figure if I have two little turbines sticking out the sides, it'll look cute. And then we'll start worrying about getting rid of all this grass and actually building up this building that we're going to build here. I still have plans. Still have plans, folks. Okay, let's break that. It's going to mess up that, but that's okay. And then I want to put that guy there. Um, and then I'm going to do the same on this side. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay. And then I'm going to do water on this side. With that good old friend, the sink. Um, think though the water's gonna go there. So that's in. Yeah, and this is where that wrench came in that that um JC just mentioned. Big reactor. This guy. Who's just got lime wool sitting around? Really, folks? Okay, so that's insert. These ones gonna be export, output, yeah. And output. Okay, so then I require a sink. 
piece one I prepared earlier. Iridium ore. Nice, Katiana. That is a game changer. Does this use like stupid amounts of water, JC? Like, can I, is like an, is a ender conduit just going to be enough or do I need a fluid laser? We'll try with ender conduit to begin with. Conduit's fine. Okay, sweet. Again, this is just a baby. This is just the baby reactor, right? Extract on blue. Insert on blue. Big one was enough. Okay, cool. No, oh, glowstone did melt the did melt melt the snow. That was what we were after. Okay, worry about the turbines in a little bit. Um, the big boy reactor is ready to go. So let's turn this on so we can get this started. So we're full of fuel. We are going to auto eject waste, um, and we're going to activate the reactor. She's gonna get hot, but that's okay. We wanted to get hot. She's only making 400,000 RF a tick. Huh. She's, she's getting up there. Casing heating. I guess they're just getting really hot. I mean, it's still going up. We'll see. The okay. So the the simulator says we should. Hang on, let me share this. Where's the? If I just share that link, that's a dirty link. If I share that link, does that have? It does. Okay. For anyone interested, that's the reactor that we build. So it should, in theory, do about one and a half million RF a tick once it gets up to temperature. Um, which is cool. And we should be getting a fair amount of sunlight. Wow, it's like going quick. Uh, so let me grab one of these for my inventories. And let's put acceleration cards on that so it can keep up and let's go home and put these in the wall cyanide in the wall uh, upgrade let's get our infinite upgrade and we'll grab all the cyanide we've got already up to 100 wow really okay and that is our quest for the waste for an upgrade. Good to go. I don't think we're going to have any problem getting the 24,000 that we required, folks. Just say it. Okay. So. Now that that's done. Yeah. Okay. So I can now go back and we can hook this up. So this is now running. This will... Okay, so that's making less RF a tick now. More? Is it still going up? No, it's going down. Huh. The numbers are right, except for the per tick output. I expect that to be double what it is. So like, and we're also burning at double the rate the calculator gave us. So that, okay, so what that's telling me is that there are some figures tweaked in this setup. Um, cause you can control, like in the mod config, you can control the burn rate and stuff. Um, but this seems to be okay. You got more fuel rods? You got more fuel rods than 360? I mean, but mine are really, 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 really tall fuel rods. Four hundred twenty. Ah, okay. But I mean, this is making cyanide. Okay, so we need to do the same thing over here. Um, so we need eulorium. 
We've used, we've already used 100,000. And our input bus. I wonder if we should do, do, is there any need for us to keep Eulorium? Is it only for this purpose? Oh, I've got Eulorium seeds already, so it doesn't really matter. We can always craft more. Never mind. Uh, I'm just going to turn it all into cyanide. And then I need uh, some cable. The, um, oops. The dense energy cube is classified as part of the, the network. Um, I'm just not sure if that will work in this case. It may need to, oh no, yeah, it's working. She's working. Oh, that got glowstone. I need more glowstone. I'm gonna get rid of that glowstone. I don't like that glowstone. That glowstone's ugly glowstone. Give me bismuth glowstone. Please and thank you. Oh, that's a good call, Katiana. Okay, excuse me, Mr. S I need I need to get in here. Uh, yeah, she's full. Okay, so she's got water. She's got steam. Let's then build our turbines. So I've never made these turbines before, so this will be different and new and unusual. Um, okay, so let's have a look. What does the quest have us wanting to do? Put away those, put away those. I don't need any of these right now. Or that, or that, or that. So the quest... Oh, it's not connected. Oh, I thought that was connected. Never mind. So I need turbo control. So I'm going to make two of all these things, right? So, um, at, at, big reactor. We would like... Two turbine controllers. Please and thank you. That's empty. Uh, how much plutonium and... I need one plutonium and one glutocrate block. So let's make one of those. And one of these for the quests. I guess I need to make one of these again. <laughs> I'm not going to put blue tritium and ludicrap blocks in the wall. Um, we're just going to use them as, like, we're going to craft them as we need them. Um, for the ultimate ingots. Because they don't really have, like, we're not producing them through resource gathering. Um, so, you know, that's fine. Uh, okay, so two turbines, two redstone. So two casings, our two of these. I'm gonna put the word. Can I do that? Turbine. No, it's still gonna. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna get confused all the time. Turbines. We need two rotor bearings. Okay. Again, I'm making two turbines, so that's the two of everything. Uh, we need. So the turbine fluid port is where the where the coolant comes in. I'm just gonna make two because I'm just gonna dump because we have infinite water. I'm just gonna dump. You can make a closed circuit where you can recycle the 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 steam when it turns back into water back into your reactor. Uh, we have infinite water, so I'm just gonna dump the excess. That's fine. Um. 132, so I need 264 turbine housings. Uh, I'm gonna need more than that because I'm only gonna do the top as glass. Um, so these numbers are gonna be a little bit off. So let's come back to that. So 25 and 80, so I need 160 blades and 50 rotors. So 50 rotors and 160 blades, 160 blades.
and then I need 37, 60, um, 72 ludicrate blocks. So another 71. Oh man, that's gonna require 2,000 more cyanide ingots. Go faster, reactors. This can't go faster. Man, they've really nerfed this reactor. It's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, can we make enough for one? Can I make another 36? I don't even have to make one. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, they're very expensive. They are very expensive. Okay, so we'll come back to those parts. Um, so how big is this? Oh, well, here we go. It's the optimal ultra, it's, it's the optimal ultra high speed turbine. Okay, so width five, height 27. Height 27. Okay, so width five, this is our width five. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can't count, folks. Hey, let's let's use the the tape measure that we just made. I'm gonna use this one because I actually prefer the prefer the chisel and bits one. So how much? How big is this gonna be? Uh, big reactor reactors 27 27 to there right You know what? I can probably even destruction get to this. Because we can warning. Okay. So we go depth of I mean that's 16, fine. Zero up. Five down. Left to right to. Okay. Boom. I only wanted four down. One, two, three, four, five. One too many. Undo, undo. There's no undo, right? There's no undo. There is an undo. Okay. Four down. There we go. And then, uh, let's do this. And I need to go another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, so depth ten. Enjoy, enjoy. You run to the grocery store. No, I need, it does need to be 11. Yep. Okay. Boom. Come on. Do you want to pick me some up, up some stuff while you're there? I feel like my, my, my pantry is a little empty. Okay. And then always reset your depth back to zero on your building, on your destruction gadget, folks. So you don't destroy your base. Okay. This here. Okay. Then I need to get rid of these, uh, these beehives. 
Grab our smoker and our scooper, scooper, scooper reader. Uh, which I'm totally not seeing. There it is. Excuse me, Mr. Beehive. Meadows Hive, I require you to please move. Also, you, Mr. Beehive, I require you to also please move. Please, thank you. This can go back to home. Okay, so then this reactor. Pick up all this junk. Okay. So. Oh, this is really slow. Okay, so here's the question. If I time out a bottle of this core. It doesn't seem to produce any faster. Well, that's disappointing. Ah. Uh, I was really hoping that was going to work. Maybe if I turn this one on. I, though, I think it's going to stop when we run out of steam, right? Start. Like, when there's no room for the steam. Oh, no, it keeps running. I mean, it doesn't make much. Oh, this doesn't make any... Uh, this doesn't make any RF, does it? Uh, where did I put the... Where did I put the RF? That was on the other side. That was under here. I can totally take that off. That was... That was silly! Yeah, this is not required. Okay, let's just change that out. Uh, let's get another... Reactor casing. It's fine. You go there. Fill up with dirt. We'll restart that. Okay. Uh, so then... Do we have enough stuffs to... We don't even have enough to make the one yet. 135? Not even halfway. Oh, man. Okay. Um, and then what about the housing casings? So it wants you to make the quest. 312. Okay, so let's assume that three sides are not going to be reactor glass. 312 divided by 4. That's 78. I need 156 glass. One hundred and fifty-six glass. Cool. And then we're gonna need so So three twelve divided by four times three plus hundred and thirty two times two, then I need 732 of the casings. 732. If I have mathed this correctly. It's possible that I haven't. We're cracking the second monster. It is already a quarter past 11, folks. Can you believe that? It's already a quarter past 11. Okay. Here is my glass. Could have blades, quite literally. Yeah, I've already got the, the blades and the, um, I've already got the blades and the, the shaft, except a little bit. There we go. There we go. I was like, what's going on? 
Blades of the South were already crafted. Um, I don't have... Oh yeah, I've got the power out. The downside with building this like this is I'm going to have these power things standing up. But I guess it's going to be okay because I'm going to walk over this and then we'll have it on the side. That's fine. That'll be fine. Okay, there is our... Oops, no, cyanide, stay in there. We have turbine casings. My inventory cannot hold this many things. Let's start getting these placed. Come on, game. Keep up. Keep up. I'm impatient. Do 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 do. Now, my understanding is that so I'm going to do the fluid input here, turbine fluid input port, touching this one, and that means I have to have the bearing on the other end, right? I think this is, I think this is how this works, folks. Again, never made this before. JC says yes, I trust him to be correct in this matter because he has made this before. So let's get these sides in place. Like I said, don't want to see the dirt through the, through the reactor. That goes like that. So then, uh, so then the this one goes here. That will cut. Yeah, so that will turn. Rotor bearing is the one end. Rotor bearing on one end is opposite of ludicrous. So ludicrous goes at this end, is what you're saying, and the bearing goes at this end. And so there's going to be one air block. Did I make this one too long, folks? I feel like one air block feels wrong. Top end, ludicrous, and bottom end. Okay, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. I did make it once. Did I not measure this with the measuring tape? Wasn't that the whole point of that exercise? And I still made it one block too long. Wow, you move really quick on this stuff. What even is this, folks? Like, the whole point of the measure tape was to get it the right length of the first ah. Hey, Blocks, you want a break? You finished saving the world? There we go. Maybe, kinda. There we go. Try 
try this again. You go there. Nope. This is a little bubby react, a little bubby turbine. It's a very small one. It's not going to be crazy. Um, and these blades. So hang on. Rotor bearing on top, ludicrate on bottom. So if I've got, how many ludicrate does it want me to make? 37. It's a very randomly odd number. Uh, 37 divided by eight. is 4.625. Math is not its strong point, right? Yeah, I think you can only do four rows. Is that meant to be 36? No. 32. I think you can only do four rows of, of Ludicrite. I think that's right, right? Can I make 31 of these yet? Still short on sign up. Okay. So, Ludicrite on the bottom. So, one, two, three, four. I need to start putting rotor blades from here. This is gonna be rough. Up, oh, too far. Too far. One, too far. And then. What is where to do the sides? Placing them like that. Oh no, they don't connect if I do it that way. Oh yeah, well, okay, it's cool. easier to tie to that side block, right? Oh, mods I've never played with before. I mean, I've done extreme reactors before, but I've never, never done the turbine. So it's all new and learning experience. Kids, don't fall into that. I feel like that would hurt. Um, then we can put our glass on top. Totally gonna just wand. And then I need Ludicrate. Yeah! Enough to make one anyway. Oh, but it wants me to make 37 for the quest. Dang it. Um. Oh, I didn't have enough turbine glass, mate. Oh, I have to still have to make the. I still have to, even though I'm doing this differently, I still have to make 312 turbine glass, folks. Let's. Then another, what, 156? Oh, I hate wasting resources. It's fine. It's fine. Dang it, Bobby is correct, JC. Oh, we're gonna wait for the glass to produce. Okay. Um, so can I make another five ludicrous blocks? I need 90 more cyanide. Go faster! Okay, while that's happening, let's start laying out this other side. Do it this way this time, so I don't have to do the sides. Because it'll all just do it for me. I'm going to remember to go one less length. In fact, let's do this. Rotor bearing. No. 
fluid import on that side. Then these guys. To there. Oops, ran out. Ran out of cases, folks. Did I math my turbine housing wrong? Or is it ma messed up because I made the glass? It's messed up because I made the glass, isn't it? Dang it. I'm 156. Okay. One, two, he's finished up, Three, four, five, six, and this. And fill it with dirt. Mamma mia. Oops. Okay. And then we've got to do the same thing here. Blades for days. Uh, let's go up this end and work out where this is going. One, two, three, four. So from there. Welcome back, Shifter. Where did you get the grocery store? Please tell me you got snacks. And if so, what snacks did you get? And also, what is your favorite snack? Because I have not been to a grocery store since March 17th, 2020. Um, and I miss them. Uh, that's not even a joke, folks. That is not even a joke. March 17th, 2020. Last time I went to the supermarket. <laughs> I actually want to cry now. <laughs> uh, moving on with life. How did I fall short on blades? Did I math really badly? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am short eight blades. I mathed really badly. That is a good question. What is everyone's favorite snack? Now, I'm going to say I am a sucker for Pringles. Uh, Pringles aren't good for me, but I am a sucker for Pringles. No, I've been back to normal. Winter still there. They didn't even space. Didn't have space. Out. Yeah. Where, where I, was, I was saying earlier, Shifter, we're trying to get to that. Um, for Nova Scotia, um, the requirement is 75% of the population vaccinated. And then the world kind of goes back to normal. Um, that's, that's their, that's their mandate, uh, for what they're aiming for. Um, so we're getting close. We are getting close. Uh, and that's 75% fully vaccinated as well. It's not, it's not partial vaccination. Um, but I, I think it's, a, a, their, their target is by the end of September is to have 75% of Nova Scotia fully vaccinated, at which point the world will basically go back to normal for us. Um, and that's probably when I will we'll go back out into the world again. I've only had one shot. We didn't, we don't have Johnson and Johnson here. Uh, we've only got for the, uh, the Pfizer and the Moderna. Um, so I've got my first shot of Pfizer. Uh, my second shot is eligible for rescheduling. I'm just trying to find an available shot for the second one. Uh, otherwise it's in the middle of September. So it's still a ways off, unfortunately, but like we'll get there. It'll be fine. Uh, Pringles, chips, popcorn. Yep, yep, yep. Always like cheese. Ooh, cheese is that. Cheese is separate. Ooh, yeah. JC, I am definitely one of those people 
who will buy a uh, wheel of brie and eat the entire thing by myself. And I have no regrets. Cheetos. Ooh, yeah, I, 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 can, I can get down with Cheetos. I can definitely get down with Cheetos. I enjoy um, anything that's got a little bit of spice to it. Uh, yeah, cheese and pepperoni is the bomb. The, um, something that we only really had in Australia is, uh, twisties. I haven't seen twisties anywhere else. Um, 32, so I need 20. That's still not enough. It is quite a list. It's a hard one, isn't it? Like, like, what's your go-to? What's your what's your go-to potox? Like, we're not, we're talking about something that doesn't require necessarily preparing anything. Oops, I realise I'm missing requirements here, folks. Uh, doesn't require like it's something that's like single serve, right? I mean, like, cheese isn't really single serve, um, but you know we'll allow it because it's cheese. Uh, <laughs> um. Did, that didn't multi-block. Oh no, what have I got wrong? Machine is too large. <gasps> oh, folks. Folks, you can't. Okay, it can be it can be 27 tall, but it can only be 16 wide. Game! Here I was, trying to be aesthetically pleasing, so I didn't have dirty great big pillars in front of my reactor here. And now I have to rip out the whole effing thing and try that again. <sighs> I mean... <sighs> okay, so question. Do we do it just 16 wide? and leave it down, or do we do two pillars standing up in front of the reactor? I feel two pillars in front of the reactor probably wouldn't look terrible. And then we can still do the full 27 tall. Um, like that could work, or we cut these off at 16 blocks and just like snip, right? Vote in the chat. Let me know. What do you think? What? Do, which one should we do? Go tall. JC says go tall. Red Wolf says hi. Hi, Red Wolf. Beef jerky, cut up cheese, or dippable veggies in range. Ooh, yeah. Okay, dippable veggies in range is a good one as well. Anything that you can, you can like. Anything you can. I like dipping. Big fan of hummus. Big fan of hummus. Seven hours. Woo! Red Wolf, you must be tired. You should get some sleep, my friend. Go boo, go home. Okay, so I'm assuming Katayana means go upright as well. Radishes or peppers? Radishes is a thing that I forget to try, right? Okay, this is, this is a disaster, my friend. This is a disaster. What a rip. Uh, it's okay. See, we learn these things so that you guys don't have to deal with these shenanigans. Red peppers? Mmm, red peppers are good. I'm a big fan of, of peppers in general, right? Uh, the, the turbine we made, um, red, I was making them horizontally, you know, to make it aesthetically pleasing. Um, but I, I didn't... I didn't I didn't trigger the the maximum size on the X and X and Z on the reactor is is uh, 16. So this is too big. So instead we're going to stand it up on its on its butt and make it tall instead. So minor inconvenience but you know it's fine. Is these ludicrate blocks like crazy? Oh good. Ludicrate is not um is not uh, radioactive. Yeah, bit of an oof, but you know what? That's okay. It's okay. Let's try this again. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, 
Um, and then Ludicrites on the bottom. And we'll do our turbine up. Lunch. So let's bring this up. Whoops. I gotta fly. Gotta keep flying. Okay. And then our turbine goes there. This will be fine. I guess I'll use all that uh that glass now, yeah? <laughs> After I said I wasn't gonna use all the glass. Uh Oops, let's do this. Because now I'm going to want to see the sides, right? We'll bring up that, because we don't want to see the dirt. Um, let's key be consistent with this. We'll go up one more, and then we'll do glass. Then we'll go like this. This, yeah, this is my power world. I've got, um, I've got my solar power generators. Um, I d my main reactor is inside my base. Uh, but we're gonna do, like, a crazy reactor here in the power world. That's for future, uh, shenanigans, though. We're not quite up to that yet. Okay. So then we'll put Ludicrite back in the bottom. Uh, actually, we're going to want the turbine controller is going to go there. And the flux point is going to go... Uh, actually, I'm going to put the controller and the flux point on this side. Just so the flux point, the, the plug doesn't stick out when you're walking through this middle section. Yeah, that makes sense. Turbine... Box plug goes there. Bring up this glass. I need more glass. Oh, I need to eat. Here I was thinking I was going to need all that glass. How wrong I was. So yeah, X, Y, and Z coordinates or dimensions do matter apparently, folks. Today we learned. Okay, and then... Is this too big again? Because I've now used up all the glass that I had. Right? I only have 11 left. Which is not even enough to fill that section there. I don't even know. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. No, I didn't. I didn't double. I didn't double. Never mind. Never mind. We did that right. I just... I need to craft more. Um, I need another 200... Another... Uh, I need another 300, 312. I need another 234. Is that right? 234. I'm going to make that many, and then if that's not enough, we'll make more. But at least they'll be made. Yeah. Get this happening. Try to get this done. Uh, I need to do the blades. I still need to do the blades. Boom. Blade's going to be a little bit harder to do with a vertical like that, but it'll be fine. I think that'll look okay. Looking at this, maybe I wanted this to be like nine wide and then have the the turbine there and there but you know what too late now this is what we're going with <laughs> uh okay question can i do that 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 and that and then i can do that sweet that makes my life a whole lot easier
Oh, I didn't do enough Ludicrite. Hang on. <sighs> I can't win today, folks. Okay, now we do the blades. Looks not there. Try that again. It's all good. It's all good. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Okay. Now do we have a functional reactor? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's put a flux plug on that. Hello? Okay. Disable. Okay. So, now I believe, so hang on, remember what JC did on here. So we disengage the coils to make it start faster. We're going to vent the overflow. We're going to, yeah, we're going to vent the overflow liquid. And we're going to start this. And it's going to take a little bit of time to get up to speed. But that's okay. How much are we making here? We are making... Two thousand. Okay, so this is only gonna run one. This little bubby reactor is only gonna run one of these turbines. Well, game... Disappointed. I'm not, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. So this isn't gonna work for what I want, unless I run these at half capacity, right? Oh, can I, thank goodness. Can I... So this is only gonna work if I run these at half capacity. A thousand millibuckets there and a thousand millibuckets there. Which, whatevs. I don't, this is not about power generation. Not making any power at the moment. Um, let us do two, three. So let's break this here so we don't have to replace all this. Yeah, I don't need the RF. That's the thing. Like, like we've already, mechanisms already got us covered for power. Like well and truly covered for power. This is purely because there's a quest and it's fun. Not because we need the juice. Okay. Break that. Break that. Although I will say it looks really cool when these blades are running super fast. Like it's it's real neat. Which we're just not gonna get to it the at the half speed, but it's fine. Okay, break these, and then we'll fix this up. Oops. Okay, so we came up one. And then let's put our rotor blade in the middle. Bearing on top. And then. Okay. And then these go up. One more. There. Oops, too far. Oh, in fact, both of them went too far. Never mind. Getting a little excited there. She's too big, Captain. She's too big. Okay, so we're not coming up. Did it again. Why do I keep going too far? Okay. 
Hopefully we made enough of the glass now. Do we have enough ludicrite? Uh, I've got five. I need another... What did we establish? 27? Yep, we have enough. Beautiful. Let's get these happening. Ludicrite, ludicrite. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. One, two. Two. Three. And then we need the blades. Bring these up to the roof. Come on, server. Okay, you did the first one real fast. Why are you doing this one so slow? Oh, I've hit my head. I was like, why am I going up any further? Yeah. And then I just need to glass the... Oops. I just need to glass the sides. Hopefully we made enough. Grab that. Oh, I need to put in place the controller. And the, oops, that's the reactor port, the turbine. And I need another lux point, uh, plug. Okay, okay, okay. Give me my plug. You know, you on uh, district network, the generators, and then disable a little bit. Not that it's really going to go very fast, but you know, wishful thinking, all that jazz. That one, okay, and then fill her up to the top. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's the same number of ticks, JC. It just... <laughs> See, I don't think time and bottle is actual time. I think time and bottle is ticks. Right? So, it is the exact same amount. Okay, so disengage the cells, dump the excess, activate. Oh, and we need to set this down to... Down to a thousand. <laughs> potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. These are never going to get up to, like, a super efficient speed, folks. Running at half capacity... I might as well just let them run and, and create power. They're slower to speed up when you're generating RF, but like, it's fine. Essentially what I need to do is double the height of this, I believe, to make enough steam for the two. But hey, it's coming along. Um, and then I just need to Pass it a billion RF, which will take me three seconds. Task screen. Because I've already done that for the bees. So let's change this to FE. We need the one billion extreme reactor. And we will put a plug on this, uh, a point even. power they do not lose that disable limit quest complete chapter complete extreme reactors I have 
have a lot of power, folks. <laughs> There's a lot of power in my orb. Uh, I mean, it kind of works. And that doesn't actually look terrible. I do absolutely want to get these going at their full capacity, though. So... So what I could even do is put another input valve on each side and do another little bubby reactor on each side. I have like three little bubby reactors running the two of these plus the big boy. I think we'll do that. I think that I think that would be that would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, uh, it's coming up to 12 o'clock. So, JC, did you have anything you wanted to show off this week? Same Potox. Anything you wanted to show off this week? I feel like I'm going to... I think I'm still going to make the, the two little reactors before we finish up. Um, but... Yeah. JC's got nothing... Protox has stuff. Okay, he says one sec. We'll give him one sec. I'm gonna jump on Discord. <gasps> Oops, wrong channel. There we go. There we go. There we go. Why is Discord not working? Oh, hang on. Windows update, folks. Windows update. Voice, input device microphone here we go here we go now we're talking name generate red wolf the wolf lover red i don't have anything to name in this world i will Ooh. save that and i'll think about what we can do hey potox can you hear me i can hear you can you hear me i can't actually need to turn you down i need to turn you up Do on the next mod pack. I will. Uh, I'll, I'll. I'll think about naming Red Wolf. I'm not sure. I haven't thought about that. We have a problem with entities on the server. They get killed off often. So. Uh, okay. Let's go find out what protests we're working on. I can turn off my magnet. To empty my inventory of some junk. Did you, uh, you touch my waystone, right, for the launch pad? I did. You want me to go there first? Yep. Sweet. Yeah, Protox has been doing some work over his launch pad. He moved the waystone. This looks so freaking cool, man. I forgot I'd move the waystone out here. So I finished, yeah, the Galactic Crap, and that's all the rockets. And... It looks so neat. I mean, it, like, it, this This was good. How did you find this spot as, like, a, hey, you can see everything? Like, like was this well, intentional just, or by accident? I was flying a circle around my base. I'm like, why don't I just make another platform up on the waystone here? That way, when everyone teleports in or mm. whatever, you can just see everything. Yeah. No, it, that's cool. I love it. I love it. Looks really good. And, yeah, pretty much you saw this. Um,. Shenanigans. One second. So many compressors, folks. Yeah, this is all the the stuff needed. Get the suit, and then you know this is this processing is just for the planet processing stuff. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. This is just for clock crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just pumped mine into my main system. I figured I'd just keep it separate for. Yeah, Whatever. no, I like it. And this is where I got the idea for putting this in the floor, folks. It just looks better in the floor, I think. Like that. But Neat. yeah, other than that and that, that's about all I've done. No, that's cool. Well, no, it's not all I've done. I mean here. Yes, just yeah. Here, I mean. So yeah, that's this platform. Nice. Where are we heading to next? To my base. The base? Cool, cool, cool. 
Man, I haven't been to your base in a very long time. Let's let the world oh. around me load up one second. Yeah, I'm going to stand right here too. <laughs> just, just do the loop, folks. Load up all the terrain around. There you go. Uncaught render exception. Uh-huh. Okay, I think we're good now. Yep. Oh, the train station? Yeah. So, yep. oh, I wanted to ask you about this. How do you want the train track to come in, right? So, like... In you... this way and out this way. So, but, like, where do you want the track to go, right? Like, like, do you want it to come in, like, straight down and go straight off? Like, I want to make sure that the, the track near your base still fits within, like, what you're thinking, right? Ooh. That's a good idea. So do you, good, do you... I'll think about that. Yeah, if you want to, like, put down some, um, like, I don't know, like, wool blocks or something along the basic line that you want it to come in and out. And I'm thinking, like, the train will come in and out through the forest over here somewhere. Or we can come around or whatever. But I want to connect up to this point here. Gotcha. So have a think about how we want to connect that up. Because I would like to do a full line going from JC's base down to your base. I think that'd be really cool with all of us if on the train. If that's true, then we'll just do this. Like, you look at your mini map. So we want to go from up here I'm down to here. I'm just waiting for your. Or look at your mini. There you go. Yeah. Sorry, I was waiting on you to. Yeah, yeah. There's a bit of delay. <laughs> so if that's true, then I would say we come here, and then I guess the only way to do it is to actually go around my base. Loop around. We can do that. We can go back. We can do that. I just don't want to put tracks where, like, you want to be able to build or whatever, or something that's going to ruin the aesthetic of um, the rest of your base, actually, right? Actually, no, this is about all the surface stuff I'm doing. I'm oh, not okay. going to go out, outside of these platforms. Okay. Um. So if we come inside... That's cool. It means maybe for next week we can have the train system all set up, folks. That'd be neat. And to the garage. To the garage. Ooh. Let's so see. we've added a few more things here, I guess. Just random. You know, like automated the um the enchanter stuff and Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks way better than what I did. I used the pylons because I was being lazy, but that's much nicer. Oh, I like and... that. That's cute. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a whole there's... new room. Oh, Folks, chemistry room. there's a new room. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. So I fully did this today. I fully automated the plutonium and einsteinium. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, okay. And so you're I doing the double silver. Problem. And... The iridium titanium. Okay. I may also steal your ideas here because that saves me a whole step. <laughs> and then I didn't use these, of course, because I'll probably use this one, actually. Um, it sucks. So I abandoned something. Mm -hmm. I actually have two. I was going to do two fusions per. So that way it goes faster. Like, so oh, yeah, yeah. Here. But... <laughs> if no! my thermal tower was one one block over, it would be it work. Uh, I know this pain. I know this pain. Uh, yeah, and you can't even like move. Yeah, you can't move anything. You could make the reactor stick out rather than cave it in. Yeah, but I abandoned it because I decided I didn't want to move these. Yeah, fair enough. How much uh, plutonium and... Uh, sorry, and Einsteinium... Yeah, plutonium and Einsteinium have you already got? Because you set this up this morning, so it's only been running for like... Actually, I just got... Uh, it's probably been running an hour. So yeah. I have 26 and 21. Okay, so... That's like... Uh, I mean, that's a, a thousand hours that we need then. That's a lot of hours. That's, yeah, that's a lot of hours. Maybe not an hour. No. We'll be intrigued. I'll, we'll, we'll see what it comes up to for next week. Yeah. Because I'm going to do this stuff next week. Basically, exactly what Podox has just done. <laughs> 
do, do, do. But, but <laughs> what I can do though is what I think I'm gonna do is build a setup here with just the face of the fusion. That way it looks like it's doing something. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, then, and then use this one for automation. Yeah. Or yeah. put or build a whole another one in the floor where you can't see. <laughs> oh, what if you just build a, like swap out this one? Because you you're not using this the, the fusion controller. Uh, so you true. could have your you could still have, have your four. Each. Oh, oh yeah, you could make more. Well, that's what I was doing. I was gonna do um, have two of each. But I kind of wanted to leave these just because this is part of the original. Mm, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And I I'm... just threw them on the wall up here. It's weird how when you leave and come back, they they single out. Like put your cursor over each one. There oh, I didn't even know you could put multiple things on the wall like that. How do you do that? Uh, you just keep clicking. You do four per square. I didn't know you could do that with Draconic. I thought you could only put one item in the in the space. I didn't realize you could put four items in the space. And I didn't go the extra mile like JC. Nothing is in order. <laughs> just in the order they were crafted in. I like I it. I like it. Put it on the wall that way. <laughs> so that's what this room. There was going to be a lot more going on. That's why it's so long. But I ran into this. Yeah. Stupid yeah. Noise. Totally. I wonder if, yeah, I can't think of any way of doing that. Um, what's going to happen is I'm just going to build one in the floor underneath yeah. you and then just make a faceplate, make it look good. Yeah. No, make it look makes... like this. That works. That works. And... Do you find that the, that the one dissolver for each is keeping up? Uh, definitely. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. These are real slow, aren't they? Oh, rip. And then, you know, once you get it filled, so then you don't have to worry about it uh, running out or doubling up. Yes, know, right. right. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember having that problem in um, DDSS. And this one, of course, it doesn't matter. So. Yeah, the double silver. Yeah, nice. I don't know. I just thought that the silver would be easier. And then I oh, 100%. To use that 100%. Essence. And. Redeem and titanium. I think we've got a lot of these folks. I was saying earlier, folks, I was going to do this with plutonium, uh, sorry, platinum and boron and sulfur, but Prodox found a way to do it more conveniently than what I was going to do. So I'm totally going to steal his idea. Well, I think with you sulfur, <laughs> you're going to add another step that you don't have. To yeah, do. that's right. The sulfur and the boron was the extra step, but I could also use the platinum and sulfur for both recipes, but I still like your way better. And I would get started on red coal now. Uh, yeah, I know you've been working on the well, extra I added utilities these to help make them. Yeah, opinion calls, folks. Opin yeah. Do I have that? Hang on, let's see. I think it was around six thousand red coal that you need. I haven't programmed those recipes, so I can't. I can't show you. Yeah, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, basically. An opinion core needs four, and you need two I'll of these you. to make this one, and then you need two of the, this one to make this one, and it adds up and up and up and up to get to this one. Right? So I have 33 red coal, and I need 991. We need four perfect opinion cores. You no. need seven. We need seven perfect. What is this fire axe? I've never seen this fire axe. Seven. Ooh, that's gross. How many? Sorry, how many red red coal did we need? Um, nine ninety one plus thirty three. Yeah, that's a lot. For one. Oh, you could put you could put the fastest speed upgrades in here though. Uh, yeah, I, w I was doing it, but my GP was struggling. Oh. Uh, even with nine hundred GP, jeez. Can you, uh... I could not run... What you see, the speed upgrades, is that's all max I can put in. Oh, wow. And even the bottom ones are the regular ones. Oh, Potox. You need another eight perfect premium cores for the creative mill. I'm sorry. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
And it actually looks like I'm going to need uh, four more slime generators. Yeah, as I say, four, yeah, four uh, rainbow gems. And you need four of the 64, the ultimate speed upgrades. Oh, more black iron. Black iron's so expensive in this mod pack. And it takes so long to craft. Oh, I, I got a well, silverwood plank somehow. Actually, I mean, do you have your ender stuff automated? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It just takes time. That's all. The the big, like full size. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got these set, set up. It still takes time though. Yeah. Hang on. You've got these as eight by eight, nine by nine. Yeah, don't dare that. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay, I won't. <laughs> See nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay, as I say. I think that's bigger than it. Yeah, okay. Just making sure that I, I haven't missed up. Click on green. I didn't catch it. I was down. I was like, yeah, that's not hurting anything. Yeah, it's not. It's yeah, down. they're really cheap to make as well. So nice. I I love that. I love that. This is this is great. So yeah, that was about it. Other than I'm just adding random machines to get things done. Yeah, yeah. getting the quest so completed. I think I'm knocked out. Um, knocked out build craft. Actual additions. Oh, damn. Uh, Ender utilities and extra utilities and alchemistry this weekend. Holy moly. Well, that, that explains why Paradox has jumped so far ahead in the... Ooh, I'm catching, though. I'm up to 83 now that I finished Extreme Reactors. I tell you what, that Galactic Craft really will boost you. I don't know what it is about that quest line. It bumped me a lot. Well, I've still... I'm... So where am I on that? I'm up to... I've only got this little wing to go, right? The last three planets. So so this is where we finish up last night, folks. The carbon. And I did the next three planets after that. Mercury, Saturn, and Uranus. Um, which took forever to make all those freaking plates. Uh, anyway. Um, and that only put me up 2% on the quests. So... Yeah, but it's like when you complete a quest line, you... Oh, oh, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I guess we'll see what we're up to do, next um, Make a giant reactor somewhere next. Because I got to work on the other two uh, ingots. Yeah, yeah. That, I don't that... even know where I'm at on ingots. I think that's the last two I need. Uh... I'm just trying to think of what I've seen of your base. I think that probably is. That's what I'm looking right now here. We're getting close to the end, folks. I mean, we're not super close to the end, but we're getting there. We're getting to the point where we're we're getting Oz, all the things in place. Oz glass and tungsten steel. Yes. And plutonium ludicrate. Well, that's not bad. Four. The Oz glass I set up automation for, and I kind of hate how I've set it up, but there's no smart filter in this mod pack, so it is what it is. Well, I figured I'd just, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll do that last and I'll do the quest line stuff first. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, this yeah, is Buildcraft stuff. About it. I haven't done Buildcraft. This was just ever. a stupid, I could have made this better, but. You I know, but this is the for the laser, laser crafting. Assembly table for like four items to yeah. complete the quest line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. And yeah. Coming together. That. Was a bad. Do you have your honeycomb stuff going? Uh, yeah, I've got. I've done the honeycomb ones. I think I stopped. I, t I stopped crafting because I've got like 50,000. 66,000 honeycomb ingots. Oh, mine's all full, so it stopped itself. No, it's still going. I'm at forty-five thousand. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I. I feel that's plenty. <laughs> okay. Well, what's it's? It only needs one more stack of drones, and then it'll shut itself down. Ah, uh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, other than yeah, the train station. I built a little uh, little walkways underneath, so you can depend on what side you depart. Uh. Okay. The train track's going to go directly over these beehives. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll boot those. Or whatever. Okay, cool. Because, yeah, because once we... Uh, actually, no, there'll be room. 
because it'll put oh that's a good question do you want me to use the the great wood oak as well while we're going around your base honestly the more i think about it i almost think it'd look better with gravel in here you reckon yeah that way it just has the aesthetic of a train track still okay well can, it's easy enough for us to switch out Cool, anyway, cool, cool. That's about it. Coming JC... No, I think JC said he didn't have anything to show off today. <laughs> he said, "Well, he's AFK. He's probably doing never mind sup. <laughs> he's probably doing lunch." But he said, "He said nah. He said nah. He said he didn't have said he said he didn't have anything to show off." Um. Anyway, cool, cool, cool. Well, that's it for today, folks. That's it for this weekend. Um. We knocked out. Extreme Reactors, we got most Collector Craft done. Uh, I think next weekend, next weekend's going to be our chemistry for me. So that's going to be neat. Um, that was super fast. I mean, like yeah. a day and a half and it was done. Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to be a lot of melting down and then combining and stuff, right? Um, I didn't melt. What do you mean melt down? Like oh, for, and the chemical dissolver. Yeah, to get yeah to get all the the low level ones. Oh yeah, but that's super fast. Yeah, it yeah. works so fast. Yeah, and we only need to get like one of each, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be this is gonna be super easy. Um. By the way. Right. Hello. So I was typing. So silicone, mercury. I have like almost 10,000 of each one of those <laughs> just from making everything. So you get a lot of the low level ones. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I just noticed the tanks over here don't render when oh. you're out of range. What tanks? The lava there tanks. There you go. I'm looking at the blood Ooh, altar. Right. That looks really cool, though, as it fills in, as they get in within render range. Anyway. Oh, wow getting distracted folks uh i'm gonna love you leave you and catch you next week we'll be back to some po3 on friday night as per usual back on the chromatech server on saturday and sunday we're pushing towards those ultimate ingots we're getting real close thank you very much for hanging out thank you products for showing off the work you've been working on actually we're all pretty even too we're all pretty even we're, yeah it's it's gonna be down to the finish line we're gonna be like i reckon everyone's gonna hit ultimate ingots within like the same one to two week window I would say. Um, and then it's on to singularities and starting to make those creative items. So close yet so far. Okay, folks, we will catch you next week. Have a good week and bye for now.